the Archdiocese of Toronto, and the National Catholic Broadcasting Council. Through the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, presents Sunday TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Sunday TV Mass on the Feast of the, of, uh, the Baptism of the Lord. I am Father John Berteo. The televising of this Mass is made possible by a contribution from members of my family from Terceda, Asurge, from Quebec, as well as from California. This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of my dad, who went home to the Lord in 1996. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we gather on this last day of Christmas, let us pause for a moment and ask our Lord to give us, forgive us our sins and give us the courage to always proclaim him as our Lord, God, and Savior, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the River Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear, and come to me, listen, so that you may live. I will make you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that you do not know you shall, shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked person forsake their way and the unrighteous person their thoughts. Let that person return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, 
but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, and we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world, And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. There are three that testify, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater. And this is the testimony of God that he has testified to his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. In his preaching, he proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I'm not worthy to sweep down and untie the throng of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by, Jordan in the, by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came down from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Some years ago, when I uh, was teaching the grade eight class to prepare them for a confirmation, I asked the group, what do all of us in this room have in common with Jesus that no one can take away? There was total silence in the room until it was one girl put up her hand and very loudly and profoundly claimed, baptism. I congratulated her and I said, where did you get this from? You, wow, you have the correct answer. She said that she had attended the baptism of her younger sibling and that the priest had told the congregation, and she really paid attention to this, that once we are baptized, we are forever embedded with the baptism of Jesus Christ. In other words, being a Christian, being Christ forever. In choosing to be baptized, Jesus expresses agreement with John the Baptist and stood in solidarity with his people and demonstrated his openness to following, to doing the plan of the Father, God's plan. Jesus baptism prepared him for ministry. Our baptism that unites us with Jesus the Christ should give us the courage in our own ministry, should give us the courage to all proclaim him Jesus as our Lord and Savior. You see, proclaiming Jesus would probably be one of the most ideal New Year's resolutions that we can have. And that resolution would be to simply, when you go for a coffee, when you go to a store, when you talk to someone on the phone before hanging up, just say, thank you, and may God bless you. Sometimes the recipient will probably stop a bit stunned, but most of the people will say, thank you, and the same to you. In this month's Living with Christ, we read, and I quote, everyone's baptism is an invitation into Jesus' mission. The invitation as to how and who we proclaim him to be. And you know, that mission can be ours as we make our own way to heaven. Not today, but one day, there's no rush. When my dad was nearing his last days on earth, I was still a student in the seminary. Dad had no appetite for food or drink of any kind. Yet, when I came home and I brought him Holy Communion, he used every ounce of energy that he had to sit up and to receive Holy Communion that he loved to do so much and of course, he would attend Mass every chance he could to be nourished by Jesus, the bread of life. You may have heard of Blessed Carlos. Blessed Carlos, who stated before he died, the Eucharist is my way to heaven. We too, like Blessed Carlo, like my dad, and like 
many others fulfill our baptism journey with Jesus, the bread of life. And may he guide you on this earth until the day we embrace him in the power of heaven. Please join me in professing our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. For those in the daily TV communi community who have asked to be remembered in our prayer intentions book, especially those experiencing loneliness and doubts about the future during these uncertain times that they may find peace and hope of Christ during the season of Christmas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the baptized, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For my dad and his deceased family members, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in praise of our blessed mother, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for if you goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for with you, goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Lord. With humble spirit, come to the and said, by you alone, I sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice of that that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in the word dwelling among us, and by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and into willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer your Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant and my dad, Manuel Berton, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace, see, grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory of Jesus, now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May the peace of Christ be with you today and every day of your lives. And may the Lord always bless you with that peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be made to everlasting life. For those of you at home, join with me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourish with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go from this Mass in the peace of Christ. Thanks. Happy New Year. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. If you're interested in making monthly donations using the pre-authorized checking method, please call our office at one 888 383-6277 for details.